بل تحبون العاجلة. You people love to rush. All of you people. The Prophet is rushing to memorize Quran, but you people love to rush to get to the things you want. These petty, you know, petty temptations of yours. وَتَذَرُونَ الْآخِرَةَ And you cast away the Akhirah. You leave it behind. This is afterthought for you. وَجُوهُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ نَاظِرَةَ Some faces on that day are going to be lit up. This is wujuhun nakira, even though it's a muqtada of a sentence, which is not the norm, which is to, to magnify these faces. Look at these faces, there are some faces, some special faces on that day, they're going to be lit up. They're going to be, you know, hasana, mushriqa. They're going to be lit up. Ila rabbiha nadira, Allahumma ja'alna minhum. They're, look, they're going to be looking towards their, their master, staring towards him. Nadira, nadira, yani an, an, an yara shay'an, or an yubsira shay'an li mudda. Nadara, to stare at something. To not take your eyes off of something. This is nadara. You know? They're going to be staring at Allah Azza wa Jalla. basira. And there are faces on that day that are going to be just covered in sadness. Extreme sadness. Shadidatul kuluha wal ubus. These faces are going to be so extreme in their, you know, their, their gloominess and their sadness. تَظُنُّ أَنْ يُفْعَلَ بِهَا فَاقِرَةً They're going to be convinced that any moment now, a great catastrophe is about to fall upon them. فَاقِرَةً A great ca- ca- catastrophe is going to fall upon them. You know somebody like in the dark, and they hear a loud sound, and they don't know where it's coming from, and it's going to attack them, and they don't know where, they're just like in that terror. That's the look they have. كَلَّا إِذَا بَلَغَتِ التَّرَاقِي Okay, so that's judgment day. Well, let's talk about how you get there. They say there's a, some some attributed to the Prophet ﷺ, others attributed to Sahaba, but it's a very common phrase in Arabic. They say, "Man mata faqad qamat qiyamatuhu." Whoever dies, his qiyamah has begun. Surah Al-Qiyamah ends with, "When does your qiyamah begin? When does my qiyamah begin?" It began with Yawm Al-Qiyamah, but our qiyamah, where the qiyamah comes from, the word qiyam. Qama yaqoom. What does qama yaqoom mean? Ah, our qiyamah begins when we can't stand anymore. Our qiyamah begins when we lie down. SubhanAllah. Our standing begins when we no longer stand. The irony of it. Allah says, Kalla, no, no, no. Ida balagat it taraqi. When it, meaning the nafs, the ruh, it reaches the hayat, life, it reaches the end tip, the top of the chest. It gets over here. You can feel it leaving. The train is leaving the station. وَقِيلَ And then it is shouted, مَنْ رَاقْ Any doctor out there, any physician, anybody. And قِيلَ لَمْ يَقُلْ قَالَ قَالْ قِيلَ It is said. It's not just said by that guy. His cousin, his mother, his daughter, his son, his, you know, his wife, everybody screaming, Doctor, doctor, doctor. قِيلَ It is said. Everybody's saying it. Where are they? Where are they? Get the nurse. You know? You know the word رُقِيَ it comes from raq. Raqin. Man raq. Man yudalihi wa yunjihi min al maut. Who's gonna give him medicine? Who's gonna do ruqiyah on him? Who's gonna protect him? Heal him. Wa dhanna. And he came to realize. It settled in on him. Annahu al firaq. It's time to part. He's looking around at his family. Everybody else is crying and screaming. Get the doctor, get the doctor. And he realizes this is the last time he's seeing them. It's time to go. He realizes also, he's looking at his body and he's saying, it's time to part my body. This is no longer mine. My soul is going to be taken out of here. The time to depart has come. أَنَّهُ الْفِرَاقُ وَالْتَفَّتِ السَّاقُ بِالسَّاقِ is such a heavy word. إِلْتَفَّتِ السَّاقُ بِالسَّاقِ is used in Arabic poetry for a camel when it's walking in the desert and it hasn't had water for a long time. You know it has a big reservoir, right? The camel has a big reservoir of water. But even that runs out. And the camel is just walking and it's just, every step is like it can't take any more steps until its legs, which are very long, get intertwined into each other and it tips over. The last steps the camel takes before its legs lock up into each other and it tips over, they call that iltafati saqu bi saq. The, the heel and the leg, it just wrapped up around the other. So the guy is standing and his legs kind of lock into each other and he just, Heart attack, he's gone. Then the other meaning of التفت الساق بالساق, he's lying in bed, the soul is reached over here, people are crying all around him, and in the pain, you know when in pain the patient, he rubs his legs together? He's, you see him like rubbing his feet together, one over the other, because he can't just lie still? This is التفت الساق بالساق. 
ila rabbik on that to your master alone yawma idhin on that day al masaq you know remember the story of umar radiyallahu anhu and uthman yasuqu amamahu jamalain what did saqa yasuqu mean to herd right to steer what's the ism dharf from saqa yasuqu masaq the place you'll be steered to the the soul isn't just leaving and just flying on its own it is being steered it's being steered to the place where it's supposed to get steered to towards allah فَلَا صَدَّقَ Now that he's gone, Allah comments about what he was when he was still in his body. فَلَا صَدَّقَ He didn't confirm the truth. وَلَا صَلَّى And he didn't pray. If you say, it's, this, if you say this wow is عَطَفْ بَيَان Which some have said. That this wow is not harf عَطَفْ, it's عَطَفْ بَيَان فَلَا صَدَّقَ وَلَا يَعْنِي لَا صَلَّى Now, he didn't pray, he didn't confirm the truth. And the proof of that is, he didn't pray. وَلَا صَلَّى وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبَ However, instead of confirming the truth, he thought all of it was a lie. He assumed it, he attributed it to be a lie. وَتَوَلَّى And he turned away. تَوَلَّى مِنْ مَا مِمَّا تَوَلَّى عَمَّا تَوَلَّى What did he turn away from? مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ كَذَّبَ يَتَعَلَّقْ بِصَدَّقَ خِلَافْ صَدَّقَ تَوَلَّى صَلَّى تَوَلَّى عَنِ الصَّلَاةِ He turned away from salat. He turned away from salat. Subhanallah. فَلَا صَدَّقَ وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبَ وَتَوَلَّى When you know, when we don't, when we think of Muslims today, yeah, they're Muslims. They just don't pray. You know, there are people in our family. They just don't pray. They're, they're not into salat, and that's unfortunately most of our families have people that don't pray. The seriousness of that. If we just internalize the seriousness of that for ourselves and then them, then you won't. Get lazy in finding one way, then another way, then another way, then another way to remind. Without, you know, if one way didn't work, you'll find some other way. And you'll find some other way. Maybe they want, they want to listen to me, they find me annoying. They think I'm condescending. They think I'm self-righteous. I'll find another way to remind them then. I'll find some other way to get the point. But they need to get this point. Because Allah equated accepting of the truth with salat. And walking away from salat with denying the truth. Calling it a lie, all a lie, a farce. وَلَكِنْ كَذَّبَ وَتَوَلَّى ثُمَّ ذَهَبَ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ يَتَمَطَّى Then he went to his family full of hope. And uh, you know, full of thoughts about himself. Like full of pride. And he had all these plans in his head. All these, you know, uh, like I've accomplished something great. And he's going back to his family to share his accomplishments for the day. His great tragedies, he didn't pray. You know, we're missing a salat is like losing a family member. You know, that's the sadness a Muslim supposed to feel. Not like you and me, we wake up at like three hours after Fajr and we're like, oh, huh, there goes another one. I guess I'll just make it up. And even that, when we make it up, what do we make up? We know. We know what that looks like. You know? SubhanAllah. Awla laka fa'awla. Thumma awla laka fa'awla. Qarabaka ma yuhlikuk. Awla can mean closer, has come closer to you. Oh, and it's come so close. And then it's come close again. Oh, how close it has come. Four times over. Others say, awla could be a curse. Yani Allah is cursing this person, then cursing him again, then cursing him again, then cursing him again. First time he curses him when he's alive, then he curses him when he's dying, then he curses him when he's being raised, then he's cursing him when he's going into hellfire. Awla laka, fa'awla, thumma awla laka, fa'awla. Ayahsabu l-insan an yutraka suda? The human being assumed that he's just gonna be created, he's gonna be left without, just, uh, just completely ignored. Without a purpose, muhmalan, فَلَا يُكَلَّفْ وَلَا يُجَازِي He's not going to be compensated, he's not going to be made responsible. He's just going to be left just like that. You know, there's two words in the Qur'an like that, abath and suda. Abath, purposeless. Suda, you're just left alone, do whatever you want. Do whatever, you're free to do whatever you want. Human beings think they're going to be left like that? أَلَمْ يَكُوا نُطْفَةً What does he think he is? He just... If you wanted to leave someone alone, he could have been left as a fluid. No, wasn't he himself a dirty fluid, nutfa, min mani yumna, from a kind of fluid that is dropped into the womb of a, a mother? ثُمَّ كَانَ عَلَقَةً Then he turned into a clot of flesh. فَخَلَقَ So then Allah created him. فَسَوَّى And made him into this human being. Next time you see a drop of fluid, and imagine that I was this. Except the one I was is filthy and nobody wants to touch that. That's what I was. 
And he, God created into a fully functional human being, and then he thinks he's just gonna be left alone. So much work went into creating you, so much design, so much perfection, you know, so much articulate, you know, every fingertip, so much went into making you, you're just gonna be left alone? Is that really how you think? You know? فَخَلَقَ فَسَوَّى فَجَعَلَ مِنْهُ الزَّوْجَيْنِ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنثَى And out of that fluid he created both male and female. So what is that saying at the end? Oh, you th- either one, don't think you're off the hook. Oh, that's for men. We're okay. No, you're not. You know, أَلَيْسَ ذَلِكَ بِقَادِرٍ Isn't that one then capable? عَلَىٰ أَنْ يُحْيِيَ الْمَوْتَىٰ To bring life to the dead? He's not capable to do that? بَلَىٰ إِنَّكَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ The Prophet ﷺ would recite this and say, Yes, of course he is. Of course you are, Ya, ya Rabbi. 